Hey, yo, we recording? All right, I'm going in. Errol Spence Jr. continues to not get the support of boxing legends. I don't know why. Oftentimes, the black American boxing legends. I'm going to break all that down in this video. I got to come from the heart on this one. Stay tuned. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Now, one of the beautiful things about being on this lovely platform of YouTube and being my own boss is there's nothing that prompted this video, but I get to get with you good people and speak from the heart. And nothing specific prompted this video, but it's been something that's weighing on my heart. So I want to use this opportunity and I would be remiss to not use my platform to speak on the things I see in this wonderful sport of boxing. Errol Spence Jr. Hey, stop that cap. I've noticed this for a while. I feel like Errol Spence unjustly does not get the full and true support from the boxing legends of yesteryear. Now, I will say this. With every rule, there's an exception to the rule. So there are some people that do seem to be like older fighters that are giving Errol Spence his props. Just for example, Errol Spence and Zab Judah, they did a a zoom call together that I was on and Zab Judah was definitely saying he's going to pick Errol to beat Ugas and Errol's basically one of them ones and one of the great fighters of this generation. So that was big from Zab Judah. Also one of the earliest members of, you know, the boxing fraternity that gave Errol a lot of props was Floyd Mayweather Jr. who sparred with Errol Spence years ago. Right, Errol Spence has been celebrated by Floyd. I remember at a point in time, Floyd was even trying to convince Keith Thurman to fight Errol Spence. He's like, you worried about me, fight Errol Spence. That's your contemporary, right? You're not gonna get me, fight Errol Spence. So Errol Spence was definitely praised by Floyd Mayweather and Floyd Mayweather said that he's next up and a future great. Guys like Adrian Broner, Recently on his podcast, Paul Malinaji picked Errol Spence to beat Terrence Crawford. So he's by by way of uh, his fight prediction, gave Errol Spence some positive thoughts and, you know, celebrated his skill. But that's about where it stops. It's the rock. Errol Spence Jr. There's a lot of fighters, and I'm not going to I'm not going to name drop a whole bunch of fighters in this particular video. It's just in general. You know, I might say a couple names, but in general, I just feel like the fighters of yesteryear don't give Errol Spence his props. And we've seen this also with another black American fighter, Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder from Tuscaloosa, Alabama. But when it came to Deontay Wilder, also a PBC fighter like Errol Spence, an Al Heyman advised fighter, Deontay Wilder, he has immense power and I do think he has his own style. But he's unorthodox right so he's, he's not necessarily known for being a technical boxer cerebral break you down and you know take your soul he just punch your lights out and you might be dead <laughs> you know what i'm saying like if you mess around with wilder and let him touch you with that touch of death it is gonna be you might just wake up and say what happened type of thing so I'm not saying I condone it because I think Wilder is a great ambassador to the sport. But even when it came to the Wilder, since he wasn't an orthodox boxing technique, you know, you give people the benefit of the doubt. Maybe their critiques for Wilder is because they feel he's relying on his power or he got outboxed by Luis Ortiz. But fast forward to the future, Errol Spence is getting that same type of hate and he's getting that same type of chagrin from fighters of yesteryear and he don't even fight like Wilder they got their own style and to me Errol Spence is a fundamentally sound person so it just goes to show you that a lot of the hate we see in boxing and it's not just former fighters I'm talking about media as well right a lot of the the fight fans like how do you hate Wilder then you hate Errol then you hate Gervonta and you hate Jermail Charlo. And they're all doing great things in their career and they all have different styles. But I want to focus primarily on Errol Spence. 
Why do I say this? Because I've seen a lot of interviews from, you know, fighters I respect, fighters I grew up watching. And I feel like the just what I'm seeing about Arrow, like, it, like it's, it's usually in reference to the Terrence Crawford fight. I will say that. And Terrence Crawford is an amazing fighter. He's a brilliant fighter. So I'm not even mad if somebody's picking Terrence Crawford over Errol Spence, but it is is usually the diatribe or dialogue that follows. Like, I just feel Terrence Crawford or Errol Spence is an amazing fight and both guys need to be respected. Like, I think it's truly about as close to a 50-50 fight as you could get. Some people are gonna shade Terrence Crawford for the victory. Some people are gonna shade Errol Spence for the victory. But that's the type of fight that it is. I think no matter who you pick, it's like going to a car dealership and then they got a, a Corvette in black or a Corvette in red. You know, everything else under the hood is the same. It's just what you want, red or black. I, I feel like, you know, you really can't go wrong with either Corvette, you know, either sports car. So I think that's what it is. I think when it comes to if, you know, Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford were cars, they're luxury cars. Their sports cars, their muscle cars, whatever type of car you like. So they're Ken and Ryu. I've always said this on my channel. But I see fighters from yesteryear, and they when they talk about Terrence Crawford, he definitely gets a lot of praise. But when it comes to Errol Spence, people are like, oh, Errol Spence, he getting stopped. Oh, Errol Spence, he can't do this. Oh, Errol Spence, he na da 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 da. And I'm like, where is this coming from? And it's really the breakdown and assessment of Errol Spence that I find myself constantly disagreeing with. Like I watched a podcast recently and they said Ugas is like a come forward fighter. So of course, like basically, of course, Errol Spence beat him. And I'm like, that's not even how Ugas fights. They're like, Ugas don't have no defense. He the Ugas don't. And I'm like, what? So for whatever reason, I just feel like this has always been existing with Errol Spence. Now he doesn't seem to be too much bothered. He's making money. You know, he's young, he's working on his legacy and stuff. But even back to the Mikey Garcia fight, I remember Sugar Ray Leonard had an interview and they say, who you picking, Errol or Mikey? He's like, I'm picking Mikey. They were like, why? He's like, because it's Mikey. I, I just feel like the stuff like that's not good. You know, Mike Tyson recently said Terrence Crawford because of how Crawford stopped Sean Porter, but Errol didn't. You know, triangle theories like that. I, and I'm just seeing it a lot, a lot more and more. And I don't know. And I want to know from you guys in the comment section, what is it about Errol that has like some of the past fighters not, not really seeing his true value in the sport because to me i think he did the heavier lifting than crawford especially at welterweight and things like that drop your thoughts in the comment section i'll probably continue to give you my thoughts on this and i'm up. introducing super thanks right here on the official boxing ego youtube super thanks allows you the viewers to show a little bit of extra gratitude which enables me as a full-time content creator to push out the content you need in the world of boxing underneath all the videos you will see a heart with the dollar sign in it you can enter any amount that you find suitable as a super thanks a brand new interactive and colorful way to get your comments highlighted and noticed by not only myself but other people on the youtube platform super thanks a unique and cool way to show and applaud us full-time content creators. Hopefully you guys enjoy the content. Super thanks. The future is now. The Hybrid Nation 5s by Kenichi Bear. Hybrid gaming and lifestyle headphones. Out of the box, you can connect to any console or PC. Bluetooth ready with a low latency USB adapter, color RGB and extreme bass mode. The Hybrid Nation 5s adjust to you. Whether you need a gaming, travel gym or lifestyle headphones the hibernations got you covered the new hibernation fives link in the description customize the way you hear the world welcome to the nation are you tired of your youtube videos not getting any views well consider tubebuddy I've used TubeBuddy for years to scale up my YouTube channel. Now we're sitting over 200,000 subscribers. TubeBuddy is a browser extension that offers a ton of built-in productivity and time-saving services to take your channel to the next level. Use my link in the description to get started with TubeBuddy and level up your channel faster. We working.